What's up guys, Gogabash again, and I'm playing more Gears of War 3, because I like this game and it's fun and stuff. So, you know, uh, yeah, okay. I bought the Forces of Nature pack, so we're gonna see if we can't jump in a match here. I don't know what all these playlists are, though. Uh, probably just end up playing Brawl Stranded now, because it's Team Deathmatch. Checking quality. Oh, this is good. All right, good sign. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to clear my throat. Uh, okay. So, uh, today I kind of want to talk about. Uh, I'm recording this on Sunday. Uh, so yesterday, Saturday, I was at my town's Comic Con. Oh, look, Cog Cogs won. Yay! I don't know. Or maybe that was a bad thing. Oh, yay, we won, yay. I have the right shit, right? Okay, good. Alright. Um. Let's go. The cold trying, baby. Woo! Why is my throat so scratchy today? Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Okay, it's been a while since I played. The last time I played was about a month ago, I guess. Because <laughs> that was when. Yeah, I saw that coming. So, <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, right. I'm like, hey, why is there spawn protection? I wasn't, I was, I wasn't thinking so much. I wasn't really thinking that I was playing. Uh, else. God, I'm like out of it right now. I'm not even, not even thinking straight. Ooh, back over there. Fuck this person up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, kind of saw that coming. Anyways, I want to talk about how yesterday, Saturday, uh, my city's Comic Con was here. Yay! Um, you guys may or may not know, I'm, I was pretty goddamn excited. And I still kind of am. Even though it's over. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, fuck, ow! Ow! Nobody kills a Coltrane. Ow. Right. But, uh, yeah. So that was fun. I had a lot of good times to uh, kind of run you guys through my day because I saw some cool things. I met some cool people. A lot of good stuff. So we got there at about 11. It opened at 10. So we were, you know. A little behind, but it's not, it wasn't a big deal. I mean, whatever. You know, just kind of go there for the fun of it. Come Doesn't really matter that we were about a couple minutes late. An hour late, I guess. Be better. Um, that's not freaking grenade. Why am I... What's a plane that would do that? I don't even know. Ha. <laughs> ha. Oh, man. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of good people there. We were there at 11. Um, so initially, we are going to go see Mark Mir first, who, if you guys do not know, he is the voice of Commander Shepard. Uh, so, so, you know, we get there, we wait in line for about an hour. So it's about 12 now. And then we find out that the dude, like the volunteer guy who's at the front kind of organizing stuff, uh, finds out that Mark Mir is late and stuck in traffic and he might not have got in his schedule which is oh great so he said he was gonna be back around like four so it's like well shit okay let's go check out other stuff nice. so pretty much we dicked around we bought some shit uh, if you guys don't know I have this list uh, of PS2 games that I want to buy eventually oh fucking what the hell am I doing you know. I have this list of PS2 games that I want to buy eventually. And, uh, hold on. I'm trying to concentrate here because it's the last little bit. Got Shit! It. Fucking jam my shotgun. That was a good shot. I'm gonna be shot behind here. Uh, <laughs> a little nervous. Um, anyways. Let's see if I can finish my list here. So I have this list. 
I post it on Tumblr. Uh, it's all the games that I don't own. So, I mean, you guys may be thinking, oh, well, it's a PS2 game list. Why don't you have, like, Kingdom Hearts or Ratchet & Clank on there? Because I own those already. So, uh, those are just pretty much games that I do not own that I should own and play. So, out of my list, I ended up buying the first uh, Onimusha. I bought the both Max Paynes. Um, I bought True Crime Streets of LA. <coughs> and I bought Drucken Guard, which is pretty much Dynasty Warriors, except with dragons. And it's entertaining. I really like it. So I rented it. And I was entertained. So I figured, why the fuck not? I'll buy it. Um, and did I buy anything else? I'm trying to think. Related to games. Uh, I'm trying to think. Did I get anything else? Any other games? Oh, and I bought the first time splitters. There we go. I bought the first time splitters. I haven't tried. Oh, and I bought Gauntlet Dark Legacy. So there we go. That's that's the list. That's everything. Um, so that's that's good. I started my list. Um, so pretty much we decked around. We were buying shit. My buddy bought a Colonel uh, Samantha Carter action figure thing, which looked like ass. It was it was pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> And then he also bought this sweet big boss action figure, which is actually pretty cool. It was pretty nice. So then about 2 o'clock rolls around, so it's like, alright, let's start waiting in lines. So, uh, at our Comic Con, the whole first next generation Star Trek cast was there. I'm not a Trekkie, so I didn't really have anything to say to them. It would have been cool, for sure, to see uh, Patrick goddamn Stewart, because he's, you know, Patrick Stewart. I mean, or more or less just for uh, Professor X. That would have been kind of cool. Just seeing for Professor X. Um, uh, so, yeah, you just have to imagine all the, the next generation cast being there. So, Will Wheaton was there, uh, which my buddies went to go see. He got pictures signed of him. I didn't really need anything from Will Wheaton because, I mean, he's just like, yeah, sure, he's Will fucking Wheaton, but. You know, uh, that's that's about it. He's just Will Wheaton. <laughs> so, like to me at least, it's like whatever. He's not Wesley Crusher or or anyone else. So. Sadly, actually, though, last year, uh, the web series The Guild was there. All five of them, five or six, five. I'm thinking five. I can't count right now. I'm not really thinking straight. But you know, so they were there, and uh, and actually at the time. I was like, oh, I'm not going to get the season 4 disc, even though it's like my favorite season, uh, because uh, Will Wheaton's on the cover. And I got season 1 and 2 fully signed by the cast. And then, of course, this year, here comes Will fucking Wheaton, and it's like, god damn it. <laughs> you know, it's one of those moments that's just like, ah, shit. If only... Oh, that's a back there. Okay, fuck. No, hold on to those moments. So that's pretty much that. Uh, well, no, okay. We saw Will Wheaton. Then we quickly jumped in the line for Amanda Tapping, which, like, that, that's just my thing. You guys knew I was pretty, if you guys couldn't tell, I was pretty goddamn excited for Amanda Tapping. Uh, I was posting it, like, on my Tumblr every day that I was going to go see Amanda fucking Tapping. Because I love Stargate. She's one of my favorite characters, Colonel Samantha Carter. It's just like, ah, it's awesome. Which is funny though, because um, I mean, my buddy who bought the shitty uh, Samantha Carter fucking action figure thing, he went up to go get that signed, and he was behind me, and I was in front with my like complete season episode synopsis book of SG1. X? No, fuck X, X, X. I'm retarded. Oh, that was close. I actually saved his life. Damn. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I got the episode synopsis signed because I have the big box set of SG-1. Um, fuck! I fucked up. Because <laughs> um, Christopher Judge was last was there last year, and he's also a part of the cast. 
He's a pretty big important member of the cast. I got his signature and a man tapping snail. And it was funny though because I have to try to kind of think straight here. Uh, because there was Amanda tapping. Fuck! Well, okay. I'm dead, so whatever. Um, my buddy was behind me with his Amanda tapping action figure. So now I'm asking her, like, hey, how's Calgary? It's blah, 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 blah. Trying to be friendly and whatnot because she's fucking cool. I kind of locked up, though, and I didn't really have anything good to say. That's why I said, hey, how's Calgary? Or else I would have asked her, hey, there's a sun on my way. How do I blow it up? How do you suppose I should get past it? She blows up suns all the goddamn time in the show. Um, so, you know, I ended up shaking her hand, which I, I, I you know, it's a geek's life. Uh, and, uh, my buddy's hand, who's in front of me, he doesn't even watch, so doesn't even know who she is. She, she shook his hand as well. And then when my friend behind me, he's like, oh, I, I, I kind of stole his lines and he didn't know what to say. And he didn't get to shake Amanda Tappy's hand. And I laughed. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was a victory for me. But anyways, uh, <laughs> Um, what else was there? After Amanda Tapping, we... I, after Amanda Tapping, I went to go see Christopher Heiderdahl, who's also in the show. He's a very minor character, but he was pretty entertaining. They know uh, they win. Christopher Heiderdahl, he's Why like, kind of like a villain type thing, but kind of not. Um, so I got him to sign a photo. I didn't get him to sign SG-1 because he's in, uh, Atlantis. Like, kind of a secondary series to it, if you will, um, Star Trek to the next generation. Okay, you know. okay I guess it's not really that far apart, because they're kind of in the same timeline, versus like a million years apart, but uh, anyways, you know what I mean, like, it's a spin-off show. Uh, so that was cool, didn't really talk to him much, because he was busy giving like, spiritual advice to this chick who was like, with her mother, so I'm like, oh well, okay, I'll just... I'll just let you be, okay? Like, just can you sign this and I'll be on my way. <laughs> so that was that. Kind of felt bad if I wanted to, uh, you know, take place there. Get the fuck out of my way, bro. So, uh, so after Christopher Heiderdahl, we started waiting because it was about, uh, probably, I'm um, one bet quarter to four at that point. So you know if. Mark Mirror's gonna be there he'd be close. So we went up and he's supposed to be there's a sign on there that said he'd be back at five. So we're like, alright, whatever. So we went to the gaming booth. <laughs> and uh you guys know I've kind of plugged the my headset a little bit because it's awesome. I've plugged it a little bit, the psycho audio headset, whatnot. And it's a it's a local business. So he was there kind of with the talking how I was fucked there. Um, he was kind of there sponsoring the gaming center place because it was like one of those, one of those, uh, you know, like pay like 20 bucks and you get to play an hour of whatever you want type deal. I don't, I can't remember what the fuck they're called officially. I don't want to say gaming club because that's retarded. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think entirely. Um,. But you know, like I said, it's just one of those places where you go for for the money and you pay a little bit and you play whatever. You go with friends and whatnot, you have some fun. All that good stuff. So freaking what ends up happening is they're at, they when we got there, they're in the middle of a match because they're having a tournament thing, they would spin this wheel and it would determine what game you're playing and um like kind of and then you go and compete and try to win something I didn't know what you were playing for when I got there they were playing Unreal Tournament 3 on this moving ship level with low gravity it seemed like a lot of fun actually <laughs> so uh, there's that they're in the middle of that which is kind of cool to watch actually there were some pretty high caliber players or at least pretty decent players anyways um shit I get that guy. Yeah! Fuck, I want to get the kill! <laughs> I want to get the kill. No! Oh, man. I wanted the kill. But, uh, anyways. So I watched the Unreal Tournament 3 players play a little, and then they're like, okay, we're done. Uh, who wants to go in the next round? So I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm waiting, killing time. 
So I put up my hand, and he chooses me. I go sit down. And there's a guy across the way saying, um, quoting Walking Dead, like, You think you love her, but you don't, Shane. And I was laughing because I like the show. And actually, the person who was supposed to, who played Shane, what the fuck happened there? The person who plays Shane in the show was supposed to be there, but sadly he had to cancel. Which kind of sucks. Because I like... Shane's kind of a dick bag, but... I mean, I like the show, so... It would be cool to see him, John Bernthal. Um, so, you know, he was sitting there quoting. I was kind of going back and forth with him while we were playing. Because we were playing... Well, okay. <laughs> One step at a time here, I gotta say. Fuck, I'm terrible at telling stories. I'm sorry. Uh... So, he spun the wheel, and it landed on Zombie Panic Source. <laughs> yeah, I shit you not. Fucking mod for the Source games, which is like the most ridiculous goddamn thing ever. Uh, if you don't know, there is a Prime Zombie, and then there are Survivors. And the goal of the Prime Zombie is to get everyone deaded. And then the goal of the... Survivors is to survive. I think there are other maps where you for their objectives, but I mean, This map was survival and just kind of the way you had to go um, Kind of the way I had to do it especially in this competitive type area so So I mean, you know, we did our thing uh, He let us play two tip two practice rounds because the game is a mod not a lot of people play it or know about it even I should say it's on Steam, I think, so I might pick it up because it's fun. Uh, but anyways, so let's us do two practice rounds, and I suck ass at both. The zombies both win, because, I mean, that game's tough to fully beat, to win as the survivors. And so we we did our thing. Survivors, I was on the survivors. I never was never really a zombie. Uh, so the last match, the one that counts for all the big money, um, we get fucking, <laughs> there's, I think 13 player people playing. That doesn't sound right. There should be 12 people playing. There was 12 people playing. One person was a zombie. So there's 11 of us in this laundry room. And thank you, Source. It's the funniest shit ever. Um, thanks to Source. We were all just kind of dicking around because we realized, you know, we got to camp our shit, like, our asses off to win. Uh, kind of started playing like Killing for you know. Fuck. Wow, we got to own. Um, so, you know, we decided, you know what? We got to camp. So, we, there's 11 of us to start in this room. And we're all dicking around, we're jumping around, uh, killing zo the zombie as he comes in, and then finally. We're all- I'm standing on this, like, tub. Someone else is standing in this tub. The fucking thing moves. I don't think it's supposed to move. So everyone had the grand idea to block the door with this tub. <laughs> and... <laughs> we sat there- like, he had to survive for 15 minutes. We sat there for probably, like, 12 or 11 minutes with this tub. And, uh... And eventually, you know, people were being dumb. They were trying to push it out of the way because they were being assholes and doing all of this stuff. I wanted to win. I wanted to see what the fuck I'd win. So I was trying hard. Um, and by the end of it, there was five of us who lived. And the guy who was hosting was like, I have never seen that many survivors survive. <laughs> and we were like, fuck yeah. Thanks, like, source physics. And what ends up happening is... The five survivors win, so we're like, yay, we won, <laughs> and he, we go up to the stage to give us a, say so he can give us our, uh, you know, victories, and what does he give us? He's like, you guys won. Now here's some free polka. Yes, I shit you not. Polka. I got free polka for winning at Zombie Panic Source, and... <laughs> The funny thing though is that when I took that home, I took it out of the plastic wrapping and the case like disintegrated in my hands. Like, the corners fell off, the fucking hinges fell off. It was not of good quality, but it was hilarious that we got this Poka CD that was named Bulletproof. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the name of this Poka CD, Bulletproof. <laughs> and 
so you know we're all chuckling. Then he turns off his like megaphone. He's like, seriously, what the hell do you guys want? I'm like, what the hell do you have? <laughs> and so he gave us a choice between a membership to this place, uh, a shirt for this place. The place is called like No Gaming. A shirt or um, what else is there? Or Crisis 2 poster. I've never really played Crisis 2, so it's kind of derpy that I chose the poster, but I didn't really want a shirt for this place, nor did I want... Nor did I really want a, um... A membership to this place, a shirt to this place, you know. So I chose the Crisis 2 poster. Yeah! Fuck you! Uh, <laughs> so I chose the Crisis 2 poster. Uh, and that was just fucking entertaining, Now I got Poka! Of all things, Poka. <laughs> and, uh, we were all just sitting there like, oh, yay, Poka. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe I'll see if I can't use it in a video one day. Because <laughs> it was, it's like, okay. Um, so yeah, that was, that was my epic, uh, MLG story of the day. <laughs> they had the original Marvel vs. Capcom 2, so like the fucking Dreamcast version. Okay, the Dreamcast version. I'm fucked. The Dreamcast version, pretty sweet. I didn't get to play it, but I mean, whatever. So, also, the dude. I think <laughs> I'm all over the place. I just enjoyed Comic Con too much. Um, there's a guy. Like I said, the psycho, the psycho audio headsets are a uh, local business, and I, I love them. And the guy who made them was there, so I told him, I'm like, hey, you know what, like, I love these headsets, they're awesome, um, you know, I use the mic for YouTube stuff, it's perfect, it does what I need to do, it's, like, awesome quality, uh, so that felt pretty good to tell him that, you know, like, you know, thanks for, because if I, if I, think of it this way, if I had not gotten this thing, I probably would be stuck with a shittier headset. And a shittier mic. This mic is pretty goddamn good for being a headset mic. So, you know, I told him, it's like, you know, it's awesome. I love it. And he felt proud. And he told me I could post my a link to my YouTube on the Psycho Audio, um, Psycho Audio, like, Facebook page. And I don't know if I will or not. If I did, well, then, you know, sup, people who came from there. <laughs> if anybody comes from there. Um,. And if I don't, well then this will just be kind of neat looking, I guess, neat sounding. I got the chance to be half-assed sponsored by uh, Cycle Carbon or, you know, get a little bit of a legs up thanks to the headset that I love and I'm not. I think that would be actually kind of cool. So I don't know, I'll figure it out what I want to do with that. Because uh, you guys know I'm kind of against advertising. But, I mean, he's giving me free rams, so I thought I might... You know, just because it'd be kind of cool. Uh, concentrate. Fuck aim. Um. So, yeah, that was, that was cool. I mean, that guy and just saying like, "Hey, I, I keep forgetting his." <laughs> I just know if it's like it's that guy from Facebook. I even said it's like you know what I. I know you made these, I just can't remember what your name is, so... Cause you know, that's cool, whatever. So yeah, I, it was cool meeting him as well. So then after that, I walked on over to my buddies waiting in Mark Mirror. And I'm like, yep, I want Polka! And they're like, ah, ah, ah that's funny. So, <laughs> um... Sadly though, all my Mass Effects are on PC. Uh, so I didn't have anything for Mark here to sign. I did get a picture of him, which, for, you know, works for me. Um, so now we're kicking about five, you know, way to Mark Mir. Then we go wait for John DiMaggio, who I keep forgetting fucking voiced Marcus Phoenix in this game, so I didn't get Gears 3 signed. I just remember him, he's, he's Bender. Okay, he's Bender from Futurama. That's all I remember him by. It's really bad, but... I just keep forgetting that he's fucking Marcus Phoenix. Because Marcus Phoenix sounds nothing like Bender, you know? Like, I'm pretty impressed with how he changes from Bender to Marcus Phoenix. Because Marcus Phoenix is just like... 
I got the lowest voice ever. You know, like, now I'm pissed, I feel. Um, so I keep forgetting about that, which sucks, but... Or else I would've got Gears 3 signed. But, whatever. It is what it is. Can't win them all, all that good shit. Um, so after John DiMaggio, who, like... Everybody was getting him to say stuff into their phones to record his voice. And I told somebody told him to say, bite my shiny metal ass. And he's like, bite my shiny metal ass for the thousandth time today because everybody loves that line. And that made my day. That was that made me chuckle. <laughs> and, uh, by the time we got there, we couldn't really ask him to say anything because he was running out of time. It's like, oh, well. Again, can't win them all. And then, actually, uh, if you guys remember... Fuck. Oops. If you guys remember from... Um, the time I played Halo, I was talking about all these cartoons I liked. I was talking about 16. The guy who voiced one of the characters in 16 was there, and I kind of shat my pants, because I'm like, holy fuck, this is like... This character was like a childhood idol of mine. And... And so, you know, I was pretty happy. I went up and saw him, and I got my picture with him. And, uh, I got an autograph with him. And, and his thing was, take two pictures. He's like, always take two. So it's like, all right, we'll take two. So the first one, you know, we're standing there, it's whatever, an old picture. Second one, he pulls out the fucking horns. You know, like, the Rockstar horns, you know, with the pinky and the index finger out. I think that's, I think, it's the Rockstar horns, technically. Ow. So, he sticks those out, so I'm like, oh, well, I'll do the same. So I quickly switch my hands around, I stick them out, and he's standing there like, what? And it was, quote, okay? He did, quote. He's sticking them out, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was not expecting that at all, because it's like, you're from a kid's show. <laughs> and, uh... It was one of the, like, it was one of the most shocking but awesome things I think happened the whole day. <laughs> just, what the fuck? Uh, made me chuckle, but it was just like, really? Okay. <laughs> so, you know, that was fun. Um, after that, we went home and we ended up playing, uh, me and my buddies played True Crime for like three hours because that game's fun. <laughs> that game's fun. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of my day. Uh, Comic Con, you know, again, Amanda Tapping was pretty much top on my list of my excitement list. You know, kind of sucks. Uh, who else was there? Stan Lee was there. Not like Stanley. Like who the fuck is Stanley? Stan Lee was there, and I didn't get to see him. His line was too big, or else I probably would have like. If it was a little shorter, I would have been like, cool, it's Stan Lee, I'm gonna talk to you. Uh, or like, say hi, it's like, oh, you know what, like, you're awesome, Excelsior and shit. But I didn't. Uh, my sister, actually, uh, she's been into reading Spider-Man comics lately, so she got her Spider-Man signed. And she was, like, giddy as a schoolgirl. Actually, you know, I'll change, I'll change the metaphor. She was as giddy as, like, a three-year-old eating chocolate for the first time, you know? We'll put it that way. She was pretty goddamn happy. <laughs> Which, I mean, whatever. I was pretty happy seeing fucking Amanda Tapping. You know? That's just how it goes, because Amanda Tapping is awesome. <laughs> so, you know, I just got to shake your hand. It's pretty fucking sweet for me. Alright? That is a bonus for me. I am a fan of that. Uh, <laughs> I am such a nerd. Holy crap. Shaking Amanda Tapping's hand. Uh, what else happened that was exciting? When Will Wheaton was kind of there, he was just kind of going through the motion, I think. It wasn't... I think he might have had somewhere to be, so that's why he wasn't really talking too much to everybody, but... It is what it is. It is what it is, you know, and you go from there. Um... What else was there? Who else, was, who else was there, I should say? Um, I can't even remember his name. To replace John Bernthal, they got fucking Michael Rooker. 
who was in Walking Dead, and he does other shit as well. Which, I mean, it's kind of like, oh, well, okay, Michael Rooker, you're in the show for about, like, a fucking minute. Because you get handcuffed to the roof of a building in the first season, in the, like, second episode. Because you're a dick. So it's like, okay, I don't know how to deal with this, but okay. Um, so, you know, there's that. And why am I being so dumb? Because they're all fucking AI. They're being dirty little fucks. Hey, hello. Hold on, concentrate. But yeah, so that was pretty much a day. Highlights were Amanda Tapping and uh, winning the Polka CD, because I felt pretty proud of that. I'm like, hell yeah, I fucking won Polka. Step to it, bitches! <laughs> and a Crisis 2 poster, which is actually a pretty sweet Crisis 2 poster. I'm not gonna lie. I don't mind that I don't own the game. I own the first one, though, so I think that's okay. I the first so, uh, yeah. I mean, Comic-Con, too much fun. Um, so, I, I, obviously, it isn't to the caliber of San Diego Comic-Con. That's fucking- oh, shit. That's fucking San Diego Comic-Con, you know? But, you know, we still had some high caliber people. I mean, getting the whole next generation cast was, I'm pretty sure, a pretty big deal. Again, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think of ever. I've never seen a single episode of Star Trek. I've watched Wrath of Khan, that's it. <laughs> and the newer movie. That's, that's my Star Trek knowledge. That is my Star Trek knowledge. So, um, you know, there's. Is that Patrick Stewart was there? That's kind of cool. And uh, who else was there? Who's probably probably the biggest one that was there was Stanley. What the fuck was that? I can get a roll, barrel roll over the shit. So I mean, I'm just trying to think of what else. Ah, I don't know, but I enjoy Comic Con. And with my list, I'm going to be working on it. Some, most of the games I'm probably gonna let's play of. Some of them I'm not, because if you guys looked at my list, uh, which uh, it will be a couple days back by the time it comes around Tuesday, it'll be a couple pages back. And, you know, whatever. Um, you guys can check it out and see what my games I have left. Some of the games on there, I'm obviously not gonna let's play. They're more or less there for my entertainment. For my entertainment alone, my curiosity. Such as the fucking, um, Playboy game is on there. Which, I used to read the PlayStation Magazine a ton, and that was advertised a shit ton. So I'm more or less curious as to what the fuck this game is, okay? Similar, same thing with the guy game, okay? Same thing with the guy game. Same exact thing. Fuck, why didn't I kill anybody there? Whatever. So the guy games there are more or less for curiosity's sake. Uh, some of the games on there I've played, such as State of Emergency, that's fun. Uh, what else is on my list that I've played? Fur Fighters, it's fucking ridiculous fun. Devil Kings is like a Dynasty Warriors um, type game. Uh, and that's entertaining. Uh, what else is there? Yep. Um. Fucking. Again, I don't have like a lot of the classic PS2 games on there because I own them. Um. I own the both Kingdom Hearts. I own. That's why you can only see Code of Memories there. Fuck. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, I own Kingdom Hearts one and two. That's why uh, like re Code of Memories is there. Because I did have that on Game Boy, but I kind of want to play it with decent-ish graphics. And I might be better at it, because I kind of sucked ass at it as a kid. It was a really challenging for me. Because I was just like, yeah, power all the time, bitches. And that doesn't really work. Like, I was like, power and, like, two health cards. I got this. That don't work. That don't work. But yeah, I love those games. I love the Kingdom Hearts games. I'll probably do a let's play of those eventually, but um, in terms of 
Oh shit, off the raise. I die, die. Fuck. Ow. Uh, in terms of how my channel is working right now, probably it'll be a little bit later when I can, like, record lots and upload lots and record lots and upload lots because that's just how I like to do it. Um, so, you know, like, once I get my shit organized, I'll be good. Solid, more kills than deaths. Good. Hey, level up too. So, you know, I'll be working. I'll probably play those eventually. Um, what else have I got? I also own Win Back. Oof. I'm also thinking of doing a. a, uh. a sort of setup video, more or less. Uh, which would be like, you know, showing you guys my laptop, uh, play games on, which I need a gaming PC, I know, don't worry. Uh, show you guys my game collection, all that good stuff. I've been thinking about doing one. I might do one actually after this. Uh, yeah, I might actually do one after this. So never mind. You know, it's probably going to be uploaded today as well. If I can find some kick-ass free music, because I don't want to get hit with copyright strikes. Uh, and, you know, I would poke... I would put on the polka while I'm doing the setup video, but I am a little nervous that this, like, no-name fucking polka band with an album called Bulletproof will, you know, call copyright on me. So, uh, chances are they wouldn't, because they, uh, again, no-name. Is that a boom boom? I'll take the boom boom. Oh, I want the boom boom. That's not a boom boom. No matter. Uh, I thought the boom boom was on there. But, uh, whatever. Uh, see, I would put polka music, but I don't really want to get tagged for, you know. Come on, get over here. What? There we go. I was thinking, like, what? Like, he got away from, he got away from me, and I'm running into him, and it's not going. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to take the chance with polka. Because Poka is Poka, and I don't really want to fucking okay, lose my shit due to a uh, silly copyright shake or copyright notice that I have Poka that I should not have Poka in. <laughs> he must have been like a buddy of the guy who made it. The host? He had to have been. Because it's like. Maybe it's a. Um, Band name that polka people know. I don't fucking know my polka. Who does? Probably like Polish people know their polka, but that's about it. I don't know who the hell else listens to polka, because old people listen to fucking country. And. Except for my parents. My parents probably listen to ACDC. They'll die. My parents are chill like that. They fucking. They're champs. They are champs. Put it that way. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else was entertaining at Comic Con? I can think of. I think that that would be uh, decent to talk about. Um, are you shaking anybody else's hand? Not really. Tony Maggio was funny though. He was the lines he was saying, everybody was chuckling. It was a good time. I don't know, I just like going to Comic Con because, uh, at school, I ended up in a really shitty sort of friends group at my school. And they're like the total bipolar opposite of, well, okay, maybe a bipolar, that's kind of a shitty word to use. Uh, the total opposite, you know. I was trying to think of like polar differences, I think was what I was going for in my head. You know, total different. No, party all the time. That's just not really me. I'm kind of, I chill. My party is like RTS nights with my buddies. Um, so I kind of got stuck with some shitty friend group, and Comic Con is just awesome because I can let loose, if you will. You know, everyone's a nerd there. Although, there were a lot of like people going around that definitely did not look the part. Like, I'm not going to judge or anything. You don't look like a nerd. Uh, they do not, they do not sort of look like the Comic-Con going people, you know. 
walk around like low riding with their fitted caps. It's like, okay then, bro, you, uh, yeah, <laughs> like, okay, you're cool. You're Comic Con. There's also a couple of girls there, I think, were there. Their uh, boyfriends or something, because they didn't look hurt at all either. Uh, but I mean, whatever. I'm not gonna judge people by their looks if they're comic going people or not. But I think you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. You know, they did not look nerdy. Obviously, I mean, I'm not saying like, oh, well, they didn't look fucking like 100 pounds overweight and whatnot, or tall and skinny. You know, it's kind of the stereotypes of a nerd or whatever, but, you know. I'm just trying to make points that there are some people that, I don't know if they should have been there or not. And what not. And I also love seeing all the cosplay there. Uh, there's a guy running around in a Gumby suit, which made me chuckle. Uh, there was a guy. There was a couple N7 people there. Uh, you know, classic Jedi type deal. Just, uh, there was a guy walking around as Dale from The Walking Dead. That made me chuckle, because his beard was not white. It was, like, partially gray. So it's like, are you... what? <laughs> so that made, uh, that made me chuckle. Uh, what else did I see? I saw some pretty cool... other cosplay. I'm trying to think of what other really cool cosplays I saw. There was a bunch of Kingdom Hearts cosplays there, because, uh, Quentin Flynn was there. I forgot about him. I couldn't find was there. He was just kind of there. He's kind of like, I don't know. He didn't seem very intricate. He's kind of there. Um, if you guys don't know who Quentin Flynn was, he voices uh, Raiden in Metal Gear Solid. And he voices Axel in Kingdom Hearts 2. So, of course, like, I don't know. Axel is pretty cool. But, and then Raiden, of course, like, who am I really can Blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm a little bitch type deal. I don't know. I don't think anybody likes Metal Gear Solid 2. Because <laughs> that's because of him. I'm riding. Like, come on, man. Uh! That was actually a good throw I did. Die. 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 He's down. Shouldn't ask him to kill him. Okay. Over there. See, I got Quentin Flynn to sign, like, my program book. Um, I think it would have been actually pretty sweet if, uh, someone else was there. If John Berthal was there, I probably would have shat my pants, because that would have been cool. That would have been so much fun to see John Berthal. I would have told him that it wasn't his child. Carl's not yours. It's not your baby inside Lori. Lori's mine. And, uh, uh start dropping all the classics. That's right, I spawned behind you. What? Get on me. Uh, don't get on me. Because you guys are all ugly and I don't really want you on top. Ugly. Ah! Fuck! Ow. I might actually end this after this match. I'm kind of run out of shit to talk to. Talk of. And normally my random grunts and shit, and I'm not doing so good anyways. So this might be a shorter episode, but, uh, that's okay. You guys know I love ya. You guys know I love ya. Yeah! Per- I kept reading that name as, uh, Purgatory. But no, it was Pur- Like, Pur Tiger Lily. And I'm like, what? Isn't Tiger Lily from Peter Pan? Ooh, boy, that's tough. I think that one is from Peter Pan. I think there's a Tiger Lily in Peter Pan. Think. No. Oh, I might have, might have just helped him a little. I want to suck his ass. I, well, okay, whatever. They have to come a little closer now. That is okay. Oh, yeah, he ran the way I'm away. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> yeah. 
Trying to kill the match. I think I also got the first kill of the match in this match. Yeah! I did so good. Yeah. I mean, that was my Comic Con day in a uh, nutshell. Poka, Amanda Tapping, and uh, meeting Jude from 16. That was pretty sweet. So, you know. So I think I'll end it here, 45 minutes. That's about where I usually want to end with my minimums, anyways. Um, so yeah, Comic-Con. If you guys have a Comic-Con in yours, I would suggest going, because I'm sure, like, if you guys don't want to, if there's no one there that you want anything from, it's just cool to go and just check out the sights and sounds, see everybody. Uh, and it's fun, it's awesome, it's an awesome environment. Although, my convention hall was pretty packed with everybody. It was kind of nasty. There was a lot of people there. Uh, eventually, you know, we got kind of cleared up a little. But, it was still kind of nasty. The amount of shit that was there. Because there were a lot of fucking people there. Lots of people. A lot of people in Star Trek stuffs for the next generation. Next generation. Uh, there was a few people with... Uh, hero stuff because Hayden Panteer was there which sucks that I didn't get to see her at all because she's hot so yeah that was kind of depressing but <laughs> I don't watch heroes anyway so it doesn't matter but <laughs> just to see her because she's smoking hot that's that's you know all I could ever hope for in life is seeing a good looking woman that I know I have no chance with so yeah yeah <laughs> So I think I'll end it here. I'm probably actually going to record that setup video because I want you guys to see my game collection as it has been talked about before between me and Coog. Um, all my all my games. And, uh, yeah. So with that, this is Goggle Besh saying, Good night, everyone. <laughs>